you're Asian, isn't it? Pardon? I mean, all you guys, you're good at this. What? Table tennis. Let me tell you, it's a skill. It takes a lot of hard work to be inscrutable. 1910, thank you very much. Oh, you Cheat? He must be sick. I know, Danny. What have you done with him? Why are you asking me? I'm not his keeper. Oh, you do live with him. We share a room. What he does with the rest of his life is his business. Sorry. Yeah, I bet. Where's your sleaze bag, Siamese twin? What? You know who I mean. Snowy? A sleaze bag? I don't think so. It's true. He jumped on Sandy, tried to grope her. He couldn't have. Boys will be boys. <laughs> you have noticed. Typical. Look, I really upset her. And I bet I know where he got his ideas from too, eh, Danny? What? How the hell is it my fault? Don't go all innocent on me. I suppose you think she's meant to be grateful. <laughs> you guys make me sick. So where is the snowman? I don't know. How come I'm suddenly responsible for him? You and uh, Snowy were married in a secret ceremony at the velodrome. <laughs> you took vows never to cycle with another man. <laughs> Shut up. Careful, careful. I'm, I'm armed. I'm armed. Game, set, match, win. Honourable. Hi. Hi. What happened? Nothing. Look, I have to talk to you about last night. Don't worry about it. No, you don't understand. No, I don't, so just leave it. Nothing, I just fell off my bike. That's why I stick to swimming. We have to worry about any sharks. I'm dead. Game. Anyone else? Yeah, you want to go? Yeah. By the way, um, Tats is looking for you. Oh, yeah, mate. She said something about you jumping on Sandy. I didn't jump. Snowy. Come on, how could you? Nice girl like Sandy. telling me you're gay, okay? And the next minute, I'm copping the blame because you pounced on Sandy. I didn't pounce on her. <laughs> well, what did you do? Something must have happened because ever since that night, you've been totally off the air. Huh? Yeah, well, okay, I pounced on her. You did? Well, what'd she do? Freaked out. Now I understand what this is all about. What? It's obvious. Sandy knocked you back and so you decided because of that you must be, well, gay. <laughs> Mate, you're a classic. You are a one-off. I'm not a one-off, Danny. There's lots of us. Snow, you just picked the wrong girl. Look, I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. Her name's Maria. I'm not interested in girls. Look. <laughs> The same way girls make you feel, that's how it is for me with guys. If you can't handle that, well... But how can we never said something before? Look, I don't want to argue with you, Danny. I'm going to bed. It's called the Robinson Cup, under 21s. Five grand prize money. Of course, most of the money will go to the academy. Ah, uh -uh. the groper himself. Two weeks is not much preparation time. You reckon you guys have got a chance or what? Yeah, I mean, all depends on teamwork. We're stuffed then, aren't we? Don't know. Guess that's up to you. Yeah, well, I'm the one with the problem, right? You said it. The two macho men having a lover's quarrel. <laughs> it's cute, guys. Come on, I want to see you kiss and make up now. Shut up, Stewie. You see what's happening now? You're dragging me into it. 
If you don't sort this out... What do you mean, sort this out? What am I supposed to do? If it's such a great thing, why don't you just tell everyone? Why don't you bring it all out in the open, huh? Oh, for God's sake. You weren't like this last night. You were going on and on about it. About what? Yeah, about what? Shut up, Stewie. I think it's something really private that Snowy doesn't want us to know about. <laughs> what? Like, you mean he's gay or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's not one of them. Are you, Snow? Sandy. Oh, wow. <laughs> when did you decide this? The word's not decide, I think it's more discover. Oh, and what makes you an expert on that? Because unlike you, Tom, I have some sensitivity towards other people's feelings. <laughs> Sandy, wait. Just talk to me for a minute, please. What do you want me to say? We're supposed to be friends. Yeah, well, you screwed that up the other night. What was it all about, Snowy? Why did you invite me out if you weren't interested? I wasn't sure. I... I had to find out once and for all how I really feel. You used me! Sandy, I'm sorry, OK? I'm really sorry. I like you. I like you a lot. I thought if it was going to work out with anyone, that it would work out with you. Maybe I'd find that I was normal like everyone else. One kiss with me and you knew, huh? It's not that simple. I... I've got to get to training. That's it. Now Snowy gets closer to him. That's right. Now when I say go, I want you to break away to the right. Hold it. Hold it. Go. Brilliant. That's it. Now don't slack it off. Keep him out, Danny. He's outpacing you. You okay? Yeah. It was his fault. He's slacking his pace. That doesn't mean you clip him. <laughs> Your times are good. If we iron out the precision, you can win this cup. I doubt it. Beg your pardon? Nothing. Snow, your attitude's gone through the floor in these last few days. You got a problem? If you don't sort yourself out, mate, you're going to let us all down. Maybe it'd be better if I just got out of everyone's way. Here we go. Why don't you chuck another wobbly? I'm not chucking a wobbly. It's... It's just... I've had enough. Sorry, Chris. I quit. You can't quit. This is a team event. We'll get one of those other guys to take my place. You walk out of this velodrome now and you don't come back. You clear on that? What the hell's going on? Dad, it's me, Steve. That was fun. Great. Um, is Mum there? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Look, um, I've been thinking. Do you want to catch the train down? Dad, Dad, I gotta go, okay? I was trying to say I miss you. Send my love to Mum. Okay. See ya. I don't know how to cope with this. I just want to die. I know, it's awful. But imagine how Snowy feels. Daddy's going to give him hell. I think he's brave.
What are you doing? I'm perving on you guys. What do you reckon? I reckon that's sick. Manny, come on! You want someone? You go find them somewhere else. Not here. Danny, give me a break. I'll dial up some sleazy agency. I'm sure they'll send someone around. Oh, you want to take a shot? Come on! Come on, gay boy! Hey! Come on, guys, break it up! Go on, man! Talk it up! Leave them alone! They're gonna sort this out once and for all! Hey! Come on, break them up! Oh, Very good! Right, you two in my office now. The rest of you off to dinner. He started it. He just went berserk. Righto, so you've said. Just shut your face for five minutes. You gonna tell me what this is all about? It's just a misunderstanding. I see. And were you the misunderstandor or the misunderstandee? Snowy? Sorry. I don't understand what you mean. Chris says there's been a lot of aggro between you two lately. He tells me you were threatening to leave the academy. Is that true? I just... I just don't fit in. He's just freaking out because... it's this Robinson Cup thing. It's all the pressure, you know. You've been under pressure before. Yeah, but right now Snowy's got exams at school and extra waist training. So how'd the fight start? I started it. Stupid. You've got two weeks to sort yourselves out for the cup. Do you think you can do that without tearing each other to pieces? Yeah. If you two can't solve this, I'm calling the counselors in. Now get out of here, you're late for dinner. Thanks. For covering for me. Problem is, I can't quit. Because I don't know how to tell my parents. Our time drop today, that, that last lap you did was awesome. What was it? 11.5? 11.6. Yeah. Friedman did 11.5 at the Nationals, but, you know, that was a fluke. Yeah, we desisted. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Listen, I didn't bruise you today or anything, did I? I mean, don't touch me. I wasn't trying to touch you. I don't care. Just back off, all right? Look, I helped you in there with Don because you were about to make an idiot of yourself. Doesn't mean I want to spend the rest of my life hanging around with you. I haven't changed, Danny. I haven't suddenly turned into this sex-craved maniac. The way you go on, you'd be thinking I bring guys home every Give night. Give it and... time, you probably will be. Insane. I think you should move out. Find someone else to share a room with. If you don't do it, I will. Me? Why me? I only just moved in. Besides, I like rooming with Noodle. Because Danny doesn't want to be roommates with me anymore and I want to move in with someone else. But I like that room. Poor, oh, this stinks. Okay, I'll, I'll go ask Noodle, see if he wants to swap. I doubt it. What about his mural? Yeah. Danny wants you to move out because you're, you know, right? Yeah, one of them. And he's giving you a hard time, right? Well, what makes you think I'm not on Danny's side? I don't know. You probably are. You probably all are. I don't care anymore, right? Huh? I'm not on Danny's side. But you can bet your life I'm not on yours either. I'll talk to Noodle, see what we can work out. Thanks. Well, you're going to take off or what? Yeah. Sorry. You 
You're still here. Yeah. No one else wants you either, huh? Can't say I blame her. You might go sleepwalking during the night or something. Well, Snowy, ah, there you are. Uh, look, how would you feel about swapping rooms with Stuart here? Um, it's noodle snoring. I can't get a decent sleep. Please, mate, you said you're a heavy sleeper. And I thought, well, just for a while. If you don't like it, you can always change back. Yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. And what do you feel about it? Fine by me. Good. Well then, better get packing. Good mattress. Better than mine. Probably got some poxy disease. So, um, what are you reading? Maths. I've got a test tomorrow. Maybe my grades will go up now I'm in here with you. Doubt it. Maybe I'll get a whole new perspective on men. It's Joe. Jake Joyce. So, um, how come Stewie changed his mind? Decided to move out. Well, we tossed a coin and he lost. So neither of you really wanted to move out? It's nothing against you, Snow. You know, I don't care what you do in your private life. Well, as long as you don't start wearing my dresses. <laughs> but the problem is Danny. You know, it's like, I mean, who wants to live with him? It's like he's got a different mood for every day of the week. Yeah. Uh, Stewie won. Well, relax. He didn't really want to be here anyway. Oh, yeah, and I'm. Um, I don't really snore. I just told that to Norma. But I do have intestinal problems. I get wind. <laughs> Great. What's this one for? Uh, second in state championships last year. Who came first? I should have. Had the flu. Tough. You're getting toothpaste all over it. Oh, sorry. You gonna leave your stuff there or you're gonna sort it all out? Do it tomorrow. <laughs> you always brush your teeth like that? Yep. Why? Just checking. Are you gonna be in a stinking mood for the rest of your life? <sighs> all right, all right. Get the message. Good night. Good night, pale face. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Take a wild guess. I'll leave you to it then. Is that it? What? <laughs> you came down all the way to ask me that. I changed my mind. They just swapped rooms. Yeah. Danny couldn't handle it. Look, I'm really sorry I lost it with you. This... What you're going through must be terrible. It feels like I've been diagnosed with leprosy. Yeah, me too. I miss you. You get screwed up, but I miss you. I miss you too. It's like splitting up with a girlfriend. What would you know about that? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we could go out sometime and go see a movie or something. As friends. No science experiments? I promise. And no double dates with tats. Or Cameron. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Never thought you'd actually move out. It was your idea. Yeah, I know. But, you know, I was pretty pissed off at you. Yeah, I noticed. You lied to me. You kept this whole thing a secret all that time. How could have I been keeping this a secret when I didn't even know it was going on for myself, Danny? You must have had a fair idea. Why tell you anyway? All it did was screw everything up. I should have known that you can't handle it. Me? Not handle it? All right. I'm handling it, okay? I think I know where we're going wrong in that final sprint. Yeah? Look, the guy who's higher always has more momentum, right? Right. So if you're low on the inside... Look, what's the point, Danny? You don't want to ride with me anyway. You said that, not me. Look, we're a pretty good team, right? We can win this cup. We can even take the Nationals. Our times are nearly good enough. All this other stuff, I don't know. It's separate, you know? Let's just keep it that way. You reckon that'll work? Either that or we just call it quits. You hassle me, I mean, if you say one thing, I swear to God. All right, yeah, I know. You flatten me. The thing is, the guy at the top of the slope, you gotta keep an eye on his front wheel. Because when he gets that momentum, the first thing he's gonna do is angle that front wheel down. No, man. You gotta learn to see it in the eyes. <laughs> in the eyes? That's the key. The key? Yeah. <laughs> 